I'm Josh from Stratton Studios, and we're a co-development studio. Been around for about 10 years now, mostly focused on A to AAA game dev. Uh, we're also now, and more recently, doing our own IP-based licensed titles and with games like PJ Tour Rise. I've always been a big believer in you either innovate or you die. It's always been a big, strong component of our value. When we go to and look to innovate as a company, there's really one partner that we look to do that with, and that's Unity every time, because it's always at the leading edge, and you know it empowers us to do what we want to as creators and create really cool experiences that haven't necessarily been done before. So, uh, multiplayer Unity 6. It's changed the way we develop games Traditionally, we had to spin up different editor instances and do all this sort of stuff, which was honestly painful. Now with the new multiplayer play mode, we can simulate multiplayer game experiences directly from one editor, which is amazing. It's really shortened that production pipeline so we can iterate faster. And when you're building a multiplayer game, it's all about iteration. I no longer have to go outside the editor to do what I want to do. I can do it all directly from the editor. There's less bugs, more stable. It just enables us for this holistic development mindset, which is great. Um, and then on the multiplayer side, you know, we're a big adopter of netcode for entities and using the ECS and DOTS ecosystem, mainly to be honest with you, because we are building highly scalable titles really does enable you to um, do more, build these open world games that we're trying to build and build these seamless experiences, whether they be synchronous, asynchronous, and um, through a dedicated game server architecture, with the deeper integration with Unity Gaming Services also, which it powers a lot of the games that we make. You know, being able to deliver content seamlessly and being able to simplify that production pipeline compared to the traditional AAA production pipeline, is just iconic. I, I would say the whole holistic stack, the way it's architected right now, now, you know, from your multiplayer, matchmaker, relay, authentication, all these various different modules that can be fit together to build a holistic multiplayer stack is very seamless. Like, I, I come from a background of having to spin up my server, having to spin up my, you know, my matchmaking system. And to be honest with you, it's painful. I don't want to manage it. I want to spend time creating. I don't want to spend time worrying about my DevOps team. We're working on a couple of really cool multiplayer titles also, uh, like TCG World. It's an MMORPG where you define how you play. You are given this open world sandbox where it's like a 700 by 700 square kilometer open world environment, vast terrains, various different environments from arid deserts to murky swamps to lush beaches. You can play wherever you want to play. You know, you can do everything from mine, shop, um, interact with users, battle various different creatures that inhabit this um, world. You can do it all within the environment. We needed to move over to an entity component system because that was the only way I know how to build strong, persistent worlds. The one cool thing I love about Netcode for Entities is that it, Traditionally, when you are, you know, building an ECS style of network game, it's challenging. Your developers that work on the netcode side of things or networking are segmented from your core development team. But one thing for a netcode for entities that I really like is that we can just run our whole team into it. They understand it. It's very familiar to them. The documentation is really solid and it's stable, which is one of the core pieces that we need and rely upon when we're working on any sort of, you know, highly scalable MORPG title. It needs to be reliable. We need to not have issues when we're sending stuff across the wire. And there's never packets missed, which is amazing. That's the, the core thing I look for is reliability and stability. Because the last thing I want when I'm publishing a game, especially a highly scalable title that's got hundreds of players in the server, is for it to crap out on us. We just can't have it. It allows us to choose which network topology we're using, whether it's a dedicated game server architecture, peer-to-peer -peer architecture, or if we use like a distributed authority um, kind of style, we can do it. You know, it's up to us how we want to implement it. With the netcode for entity stack and the DOTS ecosystem, it, it scales very nicely. And we typically don't see as much of a, like a tranche drop off when we start to hit those high player counts. It typically holds up very well, and we're able to scale the title um, both horizontally and vertically across the network stack, which is awesome. The core targets part of it is to push the technical boundary from a player count perspective on what can be achieved. The core design goal is to have 10,000 people in one server playing together consistently, which is very challenging.
PGA Tour Rise. It essentially is a mobile game made in Unity 6 that is a social game and experience delivered through the medium of golf. So you start out the game as an amateur golfer and you work your way up to the PGA Tour. You do this through competing in multiplayer tournaments against your friends, essentially, both from a synchronous and asynchronous perspective. It's an entity component system that powers the game. And, um, you know, so we can create these vast world environments where, you know, it feels like you're actually at a TPC course or it feels like, you know, you're at the ninth hole on any of your favorite courses. All of these core things you would expect as part of a golf game are in there. But we're really excited as it is pushing the technical barriers of what can be done um, as part of a mobile title. Because again, we're not really going to compromise from a visual fidelity perspective. We're going to be rendering millions of trees on screen uh, each time. Time. And the only way to do that is through an entity system, essentially. Unity 6, it's been awesome. We've already shipped four titles in Unity 6 for clients, which is great. And, um, you know, there's been so many new stability improvements that have seeped into the runtime. Everything is a fully holistic, stable environment to build a highly scalable multiplayer game. Whether you're working in dots or traditionally game object mindset, it's it, it just works out of the box, which is great. Um, so it's, it's really simplified their development process. We want to be giving gamers the greatest experience that we possibly can. And we believe the easiest way to do that, and I believe, is through new technology. And, um, you know, like adopting web GPU early, like adopting dots when it first came out, or the entity component stack, or, you know, Neko for entities, Neko for game objects, all these core cool features that come out, they just enable new gameplay experiences that players haven't seen before. And when you're one of the first people to adopt that, and get that in front of players, the reception's always great.